these. I've got a, uh, this is a turkey breast roast. Uh, turkey breast roast. And I'm going to try to slice this in three different ways. Two different ways. First, I want to go real thin across the top. Then, we're going to stop just before we get to the back of it where it would come off if we didn't stop. Then flip it over and then do it again except the opposite direction. Let's see if we can do it that way. Yeah. It's going to be a little thinner in places than I want, but it's working how I want, I guess. Come loose a little right there, but nothing major. Alright, now, um, I'm going to put some plastic on it. And we're going to flip it onto the plastic, like so. And then we're going to take the plastic and put over it. Make sure you're, whoops, maybe I need to move the meat down the plastic a little more. out of it. Now this is just one side of a breast roast. And uh, I got it because it's just me, so don't really need a whole lot. Alright, I'm going to stop right there and we've got to let this set and rest for a little bit and let some of the fibers kind of come back together and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the plastic off and we're going to remove this off of the board here for a minute. And I'm going to lay some string along here. Like this. Then, we're going to take the meat. Ooh, that's cold. And we're going to put the meat on the string. Fold it back over there where it come apart. All right. All right, now we're going to take uh, some turkey stuffing and we're going to put it in there. This is some stuffing I made earlier. It's still hot, actually. Then we're going to start to roll it. Kind of stuff your uh, ends and any holes that you come across. Just kind of stuff them inward. Kind of get them out of your way. I'm preheating my oven to 350. Then you want to take and tie these pretty tight. This is a uh, cotton uh, baker's twine. Now I'm going to use a, uh, okay, and now I've got a Pampered Chef uh, clay pan. I love this thing. And we're just going to slide this right down in it. And it's going to be a tight fit, but it will help keep it together anyway. Alright, then we're just going to put a little bit of 
salt and pepper on it and I'm going to use uh, pink Himalayan salt black pepper And then we're going to put, if I've got some, da, 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 da. we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of ground rosemary. You don't need very much of that. Alright, then we're going to put uh, aluminum over it. Don't you love how the British call this aluminium? We call it aluminum and they call it aluminium. Alright, then we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes and then we'll check it. And when it looks like it's almost done, pull your top off because you want that top to brown. So, as soon as this comes out of the oven, we'll be right back. Let's get it out on the platter. My goodness, look at there, guys. Isn't that pretty? Give me just a second to get this hot pan out of my way. Take the strings off. Alright, now we got our strings off. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Just slice it up. Give each person a slice. Take some hot turkey gravy and pour over it. I don't want to slice this all the way up right now because that's the reason I did it like this, just to show you. But uh, I don't want to slice it right now. That's why I didn't brown it on both sides. Because that way just before dinner I can stick it back in the oven and let it heat for a little bit. And I don't want to use the microwave because the microwave will dry it out. If I put it back in the pan and put a cover on it, it'll warm back up and keep the juices in it. So there we go guys. There's my stuffed turkey for my dinner. What do you guys think?